Unemployment in India is a social issue and unemployment records in India are kept by the Ministry of Labour and Employment of India. As per the Constitution of India, the responsibility to provide proper gainful employment lies with the state. As of September 2018, India had 31 million jobless people. Statistics <inaudible> 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 Union Ministry for Labour and Employment claimed national unemployment hovers around 3.7% in 2015-16. However, the data is based on usual principal subsidiary status UPSS approach that requires only 30 days of work in a year to call the person employed. 77% of the families reportedly have no regular wage earner and more than 67% have income less than 11,000 rupees per month. Around 58% of unemployed graduates and 62% of unemployed postgraduates cited non-availability of jobs matching with education, skill and experience as the main reason for unemployment. As per the National Skill Development Mission document, as much as 97% of the workforce in India has not undergone formal skill training. About 76% of the households did not benefit from employment generating schemes like MGNREGA, PMEGP, SGSY, SJSRY, etc. A significant change in inequality in income and wealth is possible only in a longer term perspective. Employment structure of an economy is the normal instrument that can cause a change in inequality either way i.e. an increase or a decrease in inequality. Since the government functions within the administrative and fiscal constraints, the target group programs normally have a marginal impact on income redistribution. Income of labor enables flow of resources across income classes of people and across the social and ethnic groups. Flows of income across locations are influenced both by assets available and modes of creating employment opportunities. However, income generated by employment of migrant labor, facilitates flow of resources across regions of a given regional distribution of capital assets. Employment and equity of income across classes of people and across regions are therefore, closely related to each other in the long term, according to India Skills Report launched in the third CII National Conference on Skill Development, 96% were found unemployable out of 100,000 candidates. The report not only captured the skill levels of talent pool but also brought out the hiring estimates across major industry sectors in the country. The report also brings out a general trend amongst the employers to look for skills rather than qualifications in candidates. According to NSS 66th round report from Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Government of India published on 2013. Topic. Steps taken by the government Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act 2005 The Government of India has taken several steps to decrease the unemployment rates like launching the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme which guarantees a 100-day employment to an unemployed person in a year. It has implemented it in 200 of the districts and further will be expanded to 600 districts. In exchange for working under this scheme the person is paid 150 per days. Apart from employment exchange, the Government of India publishes a weekly newspaper titled Employment News. It comes out every Saturday evening and gives detailed information about vacancies for government jobs across India. Along with the list of vacancies, it also has the notifications for various government exams and recruitment procedures for government jobs. Steps taken on disguised unemployment Agriculture is the most labor-absorbing sector of the economy. In recent years, there has been a decline in the dependence of population on agriculture partly because of disguised unemployment. Some of the surplus labor in agriculture has moved to either secondary or the tertiary sector. In the secondary sector, small-scale manufacturing is the most labor-absorbing. In case of the tertiary sector, various new services are now appearing like biotechnology, information technology and so on. The government has taken steps in these sectors for the disguised unemployed people in these methods. National Career Service Scheme The Government of India has initiated National Career Service Scheme whereby a web portal named National Career Service Portal has been launched by the Ministry of Labour and Employment India. 
Through this portal, job seekers and employers can avail the facility of a common platform for seeking and updating job information. Not only private vacancies, contractual jobs available in the government sector are also available on the portal. See also Economic Advisory Council Late 2000s Recession Income in India <laughs>